Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Google Cloud Next 19. Brought to you by Google Cloud and its ecosystem partners. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're here at theCUBE coverage in San Francisco for Google Next 2019. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Ben Kashroff, Global Marketing Head for Emerging Business at Google. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you, for having me. See ya. So define emerging business, what is it within the Google Cloud? Just take a minute to explain what the yeah, business is. Yeah, emerging business team is uh, a group of uh, marketers basically focused on products that help build a better Google story. So products like Google Browser, Chromebooks, uh, Drive, and especially Cloud Identity. All of these form um, the team of portfolio products that uh, my team manages. And so the go-to-market, is it product development both? or just It's predominantly marketing and go-to-market, yeah. What are some of the things that you're talking about here at the event? What's some news that you have? You guys got some news? Yeah, so one of the patterns we're seeing is this trend of cloud workers where these are employees that spend almost four hours a day using SaaS applications, using the browser, as, as you just mentioned that you do as well. And we're eight seeing, hours a day, eight fifteen hours a day. Eight hours a day, fifteen. <laughs> yes, it's ex excellent. <laughs> and so uh, we're seeing this pattern actually not only with digital natives, but also with frontline, you know, back of the office, front of the office, where they're sort of skipping the traditional PC era and moving straight to a cloud-based model. And so today we're actually announcing our Chrome Browser Cloud Management. So it's one central place to manage your browser deployments across you know, a segmented workforce that's using Windows or Mac or Linux or, and, and Chromebooks. And uh, what you can do is have them obviously manage the Chrome Browser extensions and you know, all of the deployment. Uh, but also have this IT collaborating and delegation within the same console. So of course, if you're using G Suite, it's all in the same console, it's very easily available. And so this kind of brings back the conversation we've been hearing, the themes here besides this is customer focus is end-to-end yes. -end developer. So life cycle from coding to deploying and running. Yes. So you run it on a Chromebook, or, it's got a, or a Chrome browser. Yes. You have software at the end point for security and integration, right? Exactly, so what's great about uh, being here is you see that full stack approach in how we want to make it available for our customers, starting all the way from infrastructure to end user computing, apps that people are using, all with that security layer and mindset. Obviously Chromebooks are known to be cloud-based devices, historically popular with students, as you had just mentioned uh, as well. But we're seeing really good trends happening even with personal computing and in enterprise because of the security model that runs through uh, how cloud is architected, especially at Google. What are some of the conversations you're having here at the show with customers and partners? What's the main driver? Yeah, it's, it's a really phenomenal because Chromebooks are actually 100% partner driven, so we're already very partner-centric from that point of view, but some of the customer conversations we are hearing, uh, we are, I, I'll mention three customers that I just talked to. SoulCycle, have, uh, they have 94 locations with 500 endpoints deployed, and they're using this as their retail experience, that customer UX mindset with their Chromebooks. So again, they're very cloud-native. Um, we have Starbucks that is using the Chrome browser management capabilities across all of their stores. Again, thinking about extension management, but centralizing it all in one panel uh, for all their locations. And then, very interesting, we have one medical uh, hospital. They're using Chromebooks for their paramedics. Obviously, we want paramedics to have the best technology available while they're doing the important job of saving lives but they're doing this in a way where we want to enable them to do the right outcome, which is good patient experience. These are all things we're seeing in a variety of SMBs to you know, IT to um, you know, small businesses uh, in variety of verticals across geographies, Japan, India, all of that in one place at Next, which so, is exciting. So, so very specific vertical use cases that you just mentioned. There's yes. also this sort of general business usage, it's the, it's the old thin client story. Yes. Right, now mobile becomes somewhat of a challenge for folks, but I, I mean, I've written blog posts on my mobile. You know, we live, like I said, on, yeah. on Google Docs and, and Google Sheets. Absolutely. But, so, what are some of the things you're hearing? First of all, is that, a, is that a tailwind for you? Is that a trend that you guys are leaning into? And, and what are some of the things that your clients are asking for there? Yeah, so it's a phenomenal example. I think what we're seeing is the seamless application 
usage across different locations, but also across different form factors. So what I do on my mobile, I want to be able to do on my tablet, on my phone, in a way that I interact in the same way. Uh, with the right context in mind, and we want to make that available. We definitely see that at Google because we are, after all, the, the biggest cloud native company, if you think about that, and we operate in that model. But we're seeing this trend actually with legacy companies, which is a new thing that is a good discovery for us, and we obviously want to offer the best technology uh, for our customers. We're definitely seeing, seeing a little bit of that happen as well. And Drive is part of your swim lane as well? Yes. So, I mean, one of the things I see a lot of people doing is, is they'll, they'll take every do document on their desktop and, or their laptop and put it up into the cloud. Right. Um, so they always have access to it. Yes, yeah, the, I think Drive is ph phenomenal because not only does it serve the traditional ECM or the content management solution space, I mean, Drive has over a billion users now, so it's very worldwide known. But also it has the editors and the you know, Google Docs, Google Sheets as part of the solution mix too. So really when you offer that up along with a Chromebook, it becomes a very powerful solution in combination for any you know, cloud native well, you've employee. Cr created, you got a tiger by the tail because it's so easy to create a doc now. It's, like, it's easier than spinning up a VM. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well so, I mean students are growing you know. up with this as well, right? So, so you're you, seeing that. Well, are you getting a, a lot of requests to sort of simplify the management uh, of all those docs and what is Google doing in that regard? Yeah, I think ease of management, ease of deployment, ease of end user computing is always on our mind and we're all always striving to do a great job, trying to make sure it take, doesn't take very long for anyone in IT to um, you know, set up, whether it's their drive instance or whether it's their Chromebooks. We want to make it incredibly easy. Um, and we are seeing this happen today. Actually, we have grab and go devices here where you could take a Chromebook, log in, and all your personalization kicks in within two minutes of you logging in, and then you, you know, shift a user or you give it to him and it doesn't require any reconfiguration. It sort of cleans out on its own and has all of the other uh, personalization set up. So we are thinking constantly about how do we do this for IT. So yeah. a five person team, actually I had a customer that has a five person team managing 4,000 endpoints with just a small IT staff. And they want to be able to do interesting creative things, not just manage end user devices. So we yeah. really are thinking hard about how do we do this in a Take way Take the heavy easy. lifting off the customer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We, we absolutely want to do that. Even for end user, it should feel seamless. Make it great to hear all the traction. Love the end-to-end -end Chrome browser. Uh, final question for you, what's uh, new for you guys? What's going on in your business? Where are you going, what's your marketing plan? What are some of the exciting things that you're doing? Yeah, we're just following the success we're seeing with our customers. As you had mentioned earlier, we're seeing that with frontline, we're seeing that with healthcare, retail, those are all opportunities that we see leaning in and supporting our customers in their journey to the cloud, and we see ours as a starting spot for that. Awesome, well congratulations. We'll have to look at getting some Chromebooks for theCUBE with the Cube yes. sticker. Can you make some custom Chromebooks for us? Custom, <laughs> How custom about a custom stickers, browser? Custom stickers. <laughs> browser is your person. You can customize your browser as much as we you want. We got stickers for you here. Oh, thank you. Love Chrome browser, <laughs> we'll love the extensions. Some. Programmability end to end. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Take Cube care. coverage here in San Francisco live. It's theCUBE covering Google Next 2019. Stay with us for more after this short break. <laughs>